Well, hello, welcome to Double Talk. I'm Mark Steffen. I'm Michael Mandel. You can't tell because I'm in cognito, right? Yes. You can't tell who people well, are. If you come out of the cognito. I am going to go out of the cognito later. And uh, it's so is, bright till my eyes get uh, used to this. Yes. Well, this is Double Talk. You're on the uh, Las Cruces channel. Yes. You're and you're watching uh, us on channel 98 uh, Comcast. Or Double Talk, Michael or Mark on, on YouTube, YouTube worldwide. And we are selling. This is a big month for birthdays. I think it started with, well, many people. Dave Zemont first, then Lynn, Lynn Zemont. All our then, faithful uh, watchers, they uh, birthdays are. Ned Rubin, uh, uh, Stephanie Singer, all these people. They sound Jewish, don't they? All the people you know from the temple, I think. That's right. Is, uh, uh, Tom Levy. Levy's not a Jewish name. <laughs> Happy birthday, Tom. He was just saying. And best of all, tomorrow's my daughter's birthday, Chloe Mandel. Chloe, Happy birthday. She's been on the show a few times. Yes, yeah, she's actually. usually here whenever she's here, which is usually <laughs> Christmas or, or something. Or summertime. Yes. Uh, we are go. Are we ready for the drink? You, you complained that I spent too much time making the drinks. I pre-mixed the alcohol in this. This is called the Vendome, as you saw in the title. It has the same proportions as our favorite drink. Who <laughs> I are? I mean, mine. Uh, by our you mean yours. Yeah. It's got. Uh, this is the old bulldog. Oh, bulldog gin. Any kind of gin could be used. The best is not a light gin like. Uh, Tanqueray or Bombay. Uh, any white uh, vermouth. vermouth, this is Martini and Rossi. White vermouth is also known as French vermouth or dry vermouth. And these should be in the refrigerator mm, well, because really? they go bad. Yes, not, white I'm, vermouth goes bad. I've not been keeping red vermouth, food. however, is okay. Uh, this is not exactly red vermouth. This is what exactly uh, Dale de Graff asks for, which is Dubonnet Red. Which means it's sweet vermouth. It's basically sweet vermouth, and but it's its own vermouth. It's Dubonnet. Yeah. It's, you know, you can use any sweet vermouth. So if you were to recreate this and you don't have red Dubonnet, just use a sweet vermouth, a white vermouth, and any and sort gin. of uh, gin. It's only Mix it's it equal. It's one like to in one the one. It's only three ingredients. Three ingredients. Mixed. Notice I'm stirring this. I usually like shaking the rocks, but he specifically asked to stir, so we'll see. How, how bad could it be? You tell me. <laughs> I've never tried this. I will. I, if you I mean, hurry up. Bring your own drinks next time <laughs> if you're in such a rush. Well, okay. So television is time. We, we do our normal. I know, and, and people are paying for this time. Time is money. So the more right. time we spend, looks nice. It's a light, nice little light reddishness uh, with a blush color. to it. Let's taste it without the. Uh, they say you should put. Lemon in it. I didn't have lemon. We, we don't do have lime. the lemon. I can do lime. We do have lime, but let's taste it. Do lime. Neat. I the get Dubonnet a lot of red it. Dubonnet. It does I think, overpower. I think it needs a little bit of lime. It always is. That would cut the sweetness. It yeah. would. Because you know how I move sweetie drinks. Yeah, you prefer your uh, cornstarch syrup modified. Just you know, it's a little too sweet. Corn syrup modified. But what? A, a squeeze of lime. We'll cut that sweetness. It'll be good. You can squeeze your own lime. I'm Thank you very much. Squeezing people's limes. <laughs> That's not what I heard. <laughs> well, what you hear and what you experience are two different things. Let's see. Okay. Better. Yep. Much better. So, if you're in a place and it, that doesn't have Campari, which is most everywhere in this town, yeah, uh, you could say, well, instead of Dubonnet, uh, they don't have Dubonnet either. No, no, but they do, everybody has red vermouth. You need red vermouth to make Manhattans, and that is a, a very standard drink. Okay. And uh, everybody has white vermouth. White vermouth is for making martinis. You assume a great deal. I don't know, if you go to, I bet even the Moose Lodge has <laughs> these ingredients. Let me tell you, the next time Moose I go to the Lodge, Moose Lodge, I will ask them. Moose Lodge has- No, I'm not a member. Well, maybe we should join. I That'd play one fun. on TV. We should do our uh, show there. <laughs> They have great lighting. We could. They have a back uh, room. You never have to wake up. <clears throat> now, you know what? Oh, we're, yeah, we're, we're doing stuff. Moose Lodge is downtown. My my and the city bond election is going on downtown, too. And the bond election is to... It's is going for, on, yeah. They want property owners in, in the city of Las Cruces to pay for a new fire station, a new animal shelter, some hiking and biking trails, and a dog park. Yes. And have you mailed in your ballot yet? No. Now, the new fire station. I have not. They're talking about the one on Valley Drive that was built, I guess, in the 70s. Then they've added on to it since then. Um, 
What do you got to say about that fire station? I'll tell you what I have. Exactly you know, what you know I have to say. those guys, they need a better kitchen, you know, because they like to eat good food. Right? Uh-huh. Yeah. I'm sure they do. But you know what? That, that fire station is only 40 years old. Uh, if Schools you to, are older. If you go to New York City, you see fire stations that were built 100 years ago. That's true. Yeah, they've upgraded and, they and revamped things. the property. Uh, but they're still using them. You know. The basic building is there. You know, really, fire station, fire engine, they need, you know, a Quonset hut. And well, perhaps a Holiday Inn for the guys Well, the guys sleep. live there, too. You yeah, know, well, they can sleep on, by 24 on, 24 off, whatever yeah. it is. Now, that's because the sh uh, basically shoddy building practices here in Toniana County. They only build, well, they, it goes to the lowest bidder. And so that person then gets the cheapest well, materials yeah, possible to build it with. Yeah, but also... And then, of course, there's a cutback, kickbacks to we, the people who got them the job. Obviously, so now because that's why they're, they're doing cheap. all these events. I mean, why are they fixing an entire Missouri uh, Avenue? So they, they, Valley Drive? They ate it up. Well, Valley Drive, they, they want to make it pretty. But who cares? It's a bunch of car, uh, say, you know... Car lots. Lots. Well, so... You can't make that look pretty. So because they didn't build a fire station correctly in the first place, now they have to redo it. Which is how they do with everything. When will our, so, you know, our city hall was built about the same time, uh, and now we had to build a brand new one. Coming to work, I saw somebody's uh, sign for their election saying, uh, taxes is uh, uh, robbery, right? Yeah. Does that make uh, the federal government the biggest robber? Absolutely. Does that mean <laughs> the guy whose name starts with T is a big thief? Well, we know that. Uh, and all his buddies are thieves, apparently. Now, I do, I do agree we need a new animal shelter, or at least an expanded animal shelter. Because you like animals, but it's We've got to put them somewhere The we last deal thing with was them. that they, uh, they just got a disease because of the place they live has a lousy distemper, floor. Distemper is, is running rampant through the dogs and cats. And with distemper, all you do is spend your day arguing. Because you're so distemperous. Yes, your temper right. is just so, so high. I don't know why it's always the, the property owners that have to pay all these. Why can't sales tax go up by well, one mil? Because people, then every, that's, well, per, first of all, property tax is a little bit more uh, against, let's say, people who have money. If you start a sales tax, then people who can barely afford food and other stuff have to pay it. It's more equal. Yes, but uh, property but, owners are just going to raise their rents to cover the, pro the additional property tax. So those people who live in those buildings, the same people who would well, have true. to uh, suffer through a tax I, increase on I sales. Gonna, I was going to argue against it because of the uh, poor people, but it's true that their rents will be uh, raised. But the way I figured it, uh, I got to make the claim that I do own property. Yeah, I'm thinking it's like five bucks a month for them, R but raising taxes. And that might cover it. Maybe if you pay more, 10 bucks a month. And you could say, well, that's the way it works. So I think people who rent here think, well, I don't have to pay property taxes. Well, you got to pay what your landlord asks you to pay. And if his r prices go up, so do yours. Well, now, I, I live just off of Valley Drive, about 100 yards north of the city limits. But if there was a fire in my neighborhood and the Doniana Volunteer Fire Department showed up and needed assistance, that fire station on Valley Drive they want to rebuild would be responding to my neighborhood because they do support. Oh, there it goes. I'm not paying for that. I'm mm -hmm. not paying for anybody to respond to a to fire. To put out my house. house. No, I'm, I'm not going to do that. You know, put out your own fires. You start your own fires, you put them out. And so, and with that, we're going to move on to <laughs> Ill illegal dumping of trash oh, and waste. Somebody said vote no. Oh, I don't so know. Many people, you, don't, you want to vote no, is that correct? I'm You've already sent no. in your ballots, right? No, I have not. Oh, you going to? Yeah, I'm going to send in my ballot. With I'm going to pull it. With the vote no, right? Not 100%, no. Okay, some, there's four initiatives. You can vote yes on some and no Well, on also others. there are uh, city council initiatives to make it uh, less easy to have somebody uh, taken out from an office. Yes, yeah, so a recall, recall scenario to make it not as easy to, to recall them. Is that correct? Yeah, I don't think anybody's been recalled here. They tried it. They did. People from out of town came in and tried to recall. Oh, that's right. Uh, Democratic outside money. Yes. And so they who put, Billy Garrett? They, no, city, city council. And so um, anyway, get out and vote. Vote yes or no. You know there are many issues. Don't vote straight ticket. Decide everything that you want to get in one at a time. And things that you don't want not to, because each part of your taxes will go up at, uh, depending on how many things get approved. That's true. Now moving on, illegal dumping is a problem in Doniana County. One reason it's a problem is because the cost of but it's attractive of taking your waste to the waste collection places. They charge you to dump your waste there. So what do people do? They load it up in the truck and take it out to the desert and just dump it, uh, like like uh, filthy scumbags they are. You know a guy named Phil 
the scumbag? Uh, who? Which Phil one? the scumbag? Is that who you said? I didn't say. You said Phil the scumbag. Filthy. Uh, filthy. Filthy. Yes. Phil, I thought you had a British accent. Phil the <coughs> scumbag. Well, the, the, you know, the county went out and tried to clean up these areas. They, they wound up removing 170, 172 tons of trash and waste that people had dumped. I, I see where you're going here. Where am I going? You're going to say to the desert. We I'm should make uh, uh, trash into a fuel so that we can get energy out of it. So that would be a bunch of tons of trash that we could use instead of burning oil. Is well, that where you're going? Or are you going to the nuclear dump? I wasn't going there with that, but that's, that's you know. A, well, I, 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 well, you know, we do have a recycling system in place in, in the city, not the county, unfortunately. I, I live in the county, and I have to take my recyclables to the recycle center, which I do on a daily, on a weekly basis, rather. Well, why don't you move just so you could do that? Mm, well, yeah. I or I could just or take, you could take it in your bin. You could do that. In fact, one of our friends was just talking to me about that for some reason. But that's a longer drive than the where I have to take. Yeah, but not for her. Okay. <laughs> so, now, we, we also have another issue of nuclear waste disposal. The city of Las Cruces. I flush mine down the toilet. What do you do with yours? Well, of course. Okay, so what's the deal? Uh, topics if over. you have a watch with a radium dial, what? That's nuclear waste. What? If you have a smoke detector in your ceiling, that contains a nuclear element. You have to dispose of these things correctly. Oh my God! Otherwise, they'll blow up. And uh, no, but they'll, they'll pollute. Is that what you're worried about? But that's not what the discussion that's is about. That's not what the thing is. No, they, no. That's government, not what the government wants is. to build a nuclear waste disposal plant near the one that we already have, but this is for a uh, higher end nuclear waste, like more, spent fuel more rods and things like that. Much more radioactive. Now, the city of Las Cruces has declared. Uh, no, we don't want a nuclear waste disposal plant in the state of New Mexico. Now, why uh, does that impact us? Because they drive through. Even though it. they have to drive through. I guessed it. I somewhere. can't believe it. Exactly. And yes, they've put it into what they think are impermeable containers that could withstand any crash. If even a train hits the truck or something. It could, but, but you know what it can't withstand? What? A nuclear bomb. Mm -hmm. So if a nuclear bomb hits it, it could explode uh, the trash and disperse it. And then that would be really the least of our worries. And we should put a bottle of vermouth there. <laughs> as for, you said. for the driest martini ever. Yes, the dry martini explodes. Yeah, so uh, they want to build this place over in uh, Lee County. and. Um, well, yeah. you know what? Uh, you can go all around the country and everybody's going to say the same thing. Not right? in my backyard. Yeah, not in my backyard. Our backyard already has this. Really, it's not exactly our backyard. Well, they Although, should. I mean, nobody lives there. We have a pretty big backyard in we New do. Mexico. We do. New Mexico is a backyard. Yeah. It's any, almost somebody's attic. It's any like place an you attic. have a huge, huge sparse areas, which New Mexico, Nevada, is known for. Arizona, Utah We're have. a target. We live here because of its open land. And there, we don't have to worry. If you live in Carlsbad, you don't have to worry. But, you know, we don't have to. Ex well, except... Uh, no, coming through here, anything could happen. But right? anything always does happen. Ter even if attack. First of all, even if nothing happens, something happens, right? We're humans and we're fallible. Yes. So you got to put that <laughs> radioactive waste someplace. Otherwise, stop using nuclear power. Well, then just, just take it to Afghanistan. Dump it there. Why do we have to we dump it here? We could bomb Afghanistan. Well, yeah. Yeah. We why bomb not? The crap out of it. Let's okay. just put our nuclear waste there. Solve that problem. Oh, there's the next problem. Now, Atomic speaking bomb. Of, speaking of nuclear waste, you know. New Mexico exploded the first atomic bomb. And the, and the people known as the downwinders who lived where the fallout drifted toward and landed upon, uh, they've what? been after the federal government for, government for decades. So that happened around 1945. Is that when they actually, oh, so right before that they used the it, right before they yes. used it. And killed 100, well, 200,000 people. Killed a lot of Japanese two. people. But it's also killed a lot of people in New Mexico. Who were in their 60s and 70s and died of cancer caused yes. by the downwinders. And, uh, Otherwise, their smoking would have got them. Now, for some reason, the government, which set off atomic bombs also in Nevada, Utah, and Arizona back in those days, uh, above ground, before they went underground in Nevada, those states are recognized by the government uh, to give out recompense to people who might have been downwinders. But they don't recognize New Mexico, I guess because they only set off one. And, uh, and Steve Pierce has refused to meet with the group. And uh, Steve Pierce, he's such a good guy. Yes. Did I say that? How that Are you going to read something? Don't read anything. Cancer it's, study. It's been a cancer yes. study and, and uh, the high incidence of cancer in tularosa. Uh, uh, Otero it County. It finished in 2019 and so will have the cancer. We'll yeah. be finished concurrently with that. So the Tularosa Basin Downwinders Consortium. 
Yes. Are the ones who are who wanted to meet with Congressman Pierce and he refused to meet with. So wait, them. that's uh, 75 years after. 1945. This is 1918. Mm, 50, uh, 20, uh, yeah. 50 plus 20, almost 20. It's close. Okay, we got to go to a break. Uh, Mark is going to figure out the math about that. You can figure out the math. There, it's been like 75 years, almost, since they got And hit. yet they're still suffering. At least they're still alive. Maybe the, you remember it's that Jerry easy. Lewis, Dean Martin movie where Jerry Lewis was near a nuclear thing?